1 Kings chapter 13. A prophet denounces Jeroboam. At the Lord's command, a man of God from Judah went to Bethel, arriving there just as Jeroboam was approaching the altar to burn incense. When King Jeroboam heard the man of God speaking against the altar at Bethel, he pointed at him and shouted, Seize that man! But instantly the king's hand became paralyzed in that position and he couldn't pull it back. The king cried out to the man of God, Please ask the Lord your God to restore my hand again. So the man of God prayed to the Lord and the king's hand was restored and he could move it again. Then the king said to the man of God, come to the palace with me and have something to eat and I will give you a gift. But the man of God said to the king, even if you gave me half of everything you own, I would not go with you. I would not eat or drink anything. It's interesting that the king there, he's all for the prophet. like. Please make him fix my hand. Like he wants his fortunes altered by the church guy. But he wasn't happy that the church guy pointed out his sin. But which is more important that the word of the Lord through people convicts us so we can repent to become like Jesus and have full life. Or we just use church as a crutch to get little things fixed in our lives and then get all moody if he doesn't do it the way we want. It's the same today. Incidentally, do you turf your ministers out if they preach convicting messages? Do you want church to just sort out your temporary lives? Or are you willing to ask the Lord that, the, that he would speak to through the ministers that you would become more like Jesus, even if that's a tough path? Is the, are these Old Testament readings enabling us to get to that 